15, 11 and 3. This is outing number 35 for Peters. 1,813 minutes in goal with 102 goals against and a 3.38 average. No shutouts. Bob Mason backs up Pete Peters. Islanders win the draw and send it back inside the capital zone. And right away, icing is called. The faceoff reverts back to the New York Islanders zone. Many of the Islanders' scratches are certainly due to injury. Mike Bossy with a back problem. Gord Denis out with a shoulder injury. Dennis Potvin with a knee problem. Greg Gilbert missing with a shoulder injury. Scratch tonight is Neil Coulter. Brent Sutter is out of the lineup. And Thomas Janssen also because of a jaw injury. The Capitals have scratched Greg Smith and Ed Kostelik and John Barrett out with a broken kneecap for the remainder of the regular season. He should be available sometime in May. There's Mike Ridley, the man that Al Koken told us about. Out there now, set up to work with Gartner on the wings, and Christian pulls the face off. But the Islanders get it. Here's Crom across the line. Back inside the Washington zone, and he centers the puck. And flatly had a good scoring chance, but fired wide. Now Trache in the corner. Jams up with Ridley. Along the boards, Trache tries to freeze it inside Capitals ice. Ridley gets it going, and it comes out down to Larry Murphy. Here's Murphy to center. Fires back inside the Islanders zone. Rudy gets jammed up in front of the net. Ends up playing it to Trache. Now out on the right wing side. Flatly dumps it in. The Islanders change up on the fly. This game just 50 seconds old, and the Capitals are changing as well. Murphy up to Gartner at the blue line. LaFontaine gets his stick on it. Here's Makala in across the Capitals blue line, but LaFontaine was trapped. And the play is called offside. A lot of disappointment on the New York Islander team this year with some of their players not having particularly successful seasons. But you can't say it about Miko Makala. He certainly has had an outstanding season in his real full second full year 22 goals, 27 assists. And he's really found a home out there right now with Pat LaFontaine at the center ice position. LaFontaine working well with Makala. And Makala has got outstanding straight ahead speed, loves to go high to the outside. Here's Kelly Miller back into the corner now. Throws to the point. John Blum is shot. That's blocked. And Gaetan Duchesne takes it into the corner. Sneaks his way behind the net. He centers in front. But Knackle is there and steers to the point. Now Bobby Gould recaptures for the Capitals. Takes it behind. Gives it off to Duchesne. Gaetan Duchesne back to the left point. Here's Langway's wrist shot. Knocked down. And the Islanders come back. Knackle out to center. Kelly Miller again takes charge and shoots it back inside the Islanders' zone. We're just underway with this game. There's no score. Lead pass. Out to center. Here comes Bob Basson across the line. Peters makes the stop. Brings it back for Scott Stevens. Lead pass off the skate of Howard. He's tripped up by Morrow. And Howard limps back to center ice now as it's going to be icing against the Capitals. And the faceoff comes back to the Washington zone. Anytime you see Alan Howard take a hit like that, right away you start to worry about that knee, which has given him problems ever since that arthroscopic surgery earlier this year. But speaking of hits, yeah. Harry Hanpa might have stirred the Capitals up inadvertently due to a quote in a New York newspaper earlier in the week. Right before the game on Long Island on Tuesday, Hanpa says he likes to play against the Capitals because he can play an aggressive game against the Capitals. The animation is that Washington does not play tough, does not stand up. Harry Hanpa escaped a little bit of retribution and retaliation on Tuesday night. But I would imagine tonight, if the opportunity presents itself, people will certainly remember that. I know Craig Lachlan brought that, brought that little clipping from Newsday, the Long Island newspaper, into the locker room and certainly has got the attention of a few of the Capitol players. Howard comes into the faceoff circle too quickly. And rookie Randy Wood. Lines up here against Lachlan. Lachlan wins the draw. Back to Stevens. Up the boards. To the point. Morrow keeps it in. Now Larry Murphy. Back to the Washington goal for Stevens. Right side for Craig Lachlan. Lachlan moves the puck to the blue line. Stick handles to center. Fires it back into the Islander zone. Here's a shot by Adams. That's sticked away by Kelly Rudy in the Islander net. Now Wood moves it out to center. Gets it to Brad Lauer. Across the line to Wood. Into the corner. Around Stevens. Walks in and fires. But Peters there with the pad to make the save. Behind the net. Wood centers. Gets it right in front of the goal. Here's a shot. Peters is down and makes the save. The Islanders score. Rookie Randy Wood scores 
his first National Hockey League goal in this his fifth game in the NHL and the Islanders take a one nothing lead signed as a free agent out of Yale University he is a strong player he is able to muscle his way in front initially that is the pass of wood that gets things going now watch the way he just comes back out to the slot when he sees the puck out there Craig Lachlan loses him for a moment on his knees whips it Pete Peters was down did not get back in a position and the Islanders come out and take the lead in this critical contest they have been the one that's applied all the pressure so far in this game putting on four shots and number four sneaks in to put them on top one nothing well Randy Wood had enough chances but he made good the effort Lauer and Curran get the assists at 232 on Randy Wood's first National Hockey League goal the puck cleared back inside the Washington zone into the corner goes Kevin Hatcher he plays it off the board back to the point here's Boyd a shot knocked away by Langway to the corner Wayne Sutter is bumped there by Langway. Here comes Michael Pavanka. Stick handles to center to David Jensen. Gets across the line. Jensen into the corner. Bumped away by Randy Boyd. At the point. Here's a shot by Langway. Just wide. Rebound. Cleared to the corner. The Islanders send it all the way back into the Washington zone. And here's Kevin Hatcher back to take it. 1 0 New York with 16 40 to play here in the first period. Puck shot back into the New York end. Here comes Rich Crom in across the Capitals blue line. Drops it back to Conroyd on his backhand, fires wide. Chased by Trache. Now Flatley tries to clear or send it in, but Gartner clears it all the way back inside the Islander zone, and Leiter is back to chase it. Cleared all the way down the ice. This will be icing against the Islanders as Scott Stevens is back for the touch. There's the whistle to stop play. At Giant Food, you'll get warehouse grocery prices, weekly advertised bonus specials, half price specials, and so much more, along with Giant's quality, selection, and service, too. Now that's value you can really trust. Rod Langway chasing down a loose puck up at the blue line, whistles it in. David Jensen tries to get a poke at it. It's cleared to the corner before he can get his stick on it as Kelly Rudy was down. Capitals with only one shot so far. Three minutes, 54 seconds gone by. The Islanders with that one nothing lead, and Capitals cannot afford to be confident tonight. Not seeing Potts, Van, Bossy, Brent Sutter in the lineup. The Islanders are ready to work. They've shown it early. Here's Murphy back to his own line over to Scott Stevens. Tries to find Gertner, but Curran breaks it up and sends it back into the capital zone. Murphy to the blue line. Flatley steals. Now the Caps get it back. Here's Gartner on the right wing from Ridley. Fakes and is taken out by Curran in the corner. Islanders keep the play going. Brom starts to move out. Gartner sweeps it away from him. But finally, it is sent out to center ice, and Murphy has to go back and get it. He locks it into the Islander zone. Ken Morrow off the boards out to center. Stevens fires it in up high, and as it's caught by goalkeeper Kelly Rudy, the play is called offside against Washington. So there'll be a faceoff out in neutral ice with 15.25 to go here in the first period. Certainly a lot of pressure on Terry Simpson to start out the season coming in replacing the legendary Al Arbor who you saw earlier in their broadcast Jeff Rimmer's pregame guest but I think Simpson has done an, an excellent job when you consider 191 games lost to injury by all the Islander injuries that have stacked up and yet his club still in second place as we start the final week of the season. Boyd tosses it back inside the Washington end and here's Captain Rod Langway back to start out. Islanders lead 1-0 here in the first period. Lead pass to Kelly Miller. Headman's the puck to Bob Gould. He's across the blue line into the Islanders zone. Sends it in front, but it's quickly cleared from in front of the net by Pat LaFontaine. Boyd dumps it back in. Peters leaves it for Langway. In the corner, Makala sweeps it free, but sends it right out to Kelly Miller. Here comes Miller to center. Inside the Islander zone. Tries to beat Boyd. In the corner, he's taken out. And Alan Kerr comes up with a puck now for New York. Out to Miko Makala. Makala fires from center. Right on the save made by Pete Peters. 
Islanders changing up. Here's Conroy dumping it back in. And New York is offside. There's a break in the action with the score. The Islanders won. Let's Capital to our so in the first period, Al Koken, Mike Burns, and Jeff Rimmer with you tonight here on Home Team Sports. From the faceoff, here's Hatcher over to Stevens. Now to Greg Adams. Works to center ice for Lachlan. Tries the behind the back pass to Howard. And the Islanders take it over. Bob Basson sends it in. Peters makes the stop. Here's Stevens out to Lachlan. Taken over by Hatcher. At the red line and hops over the stick of Conroy and is grabbed by Bob Basson. Plays it to center. Hatcher dumps it in. Adams rushing behind the net. Caught a piece of lighter as he went by. Now Howard tied up in the corner by Sutter. Back come the Islanders. Here's Bass into the blue line. Throws it into the corner. Stevens behind the net. Scott Stevens starts out. Passes beyond the stick of Lachlan. Out of center, Curran takes over. Here's Brian Curran. Stevens flips it back in. Rink wide over to Leiter. Here's Tranche. Off the boards, out to center ice. And Langway starts back now for Washington. He gives it to Pavanka, trying to hit David Jensen. And in the matter of striding across the line, Jensen had the puck. Pavanka went in first, or the other way around, and the play called offside. Well, the tough guy role for the Islanders this year has fallen on the shoulders of Brian Curran, who has certainly spent enough time in the penalty box. He leads the National Hockey League in penalty minutes. And all this coming from a man who grew up in a family where he had four sisters. <laughs> Who cares about the way the Sutters grew up fighting with one another? The way to get a tough guy is to grow up in a family with sisters, right? He wouldn't learn to drop the gloves that way. He'd have to show a little restraint. I guess he's making up for lost time, all those early temptations. They were all older than he was. That yeah, says, on him. Yep. He says his oldest sister used to beat the living daylights out of him. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing now, if anybody needs an enforcer. Well, he adds he was very young. Oh, okay. Here's Dave Christian in the corner. Flatley tries to pry it free. Trache moves it back to the point, and Morrow keeps it in. Ken Morrow wearing the captain C on his sweater in place of Dennis Potvin, who's out of the lineup for New York. We're not expecting Potvin back the next week. Fromm and Trache collide, and Fromm takes the spill. Here's Langway back in the corner. Now Trache tries to center. And Christian works it out of the zone to center ice. Islanders won, Capitals nothing with 12.20 to go here in the first period. Mike Gartner behind the net. Both teams changing up on the fly. Gartner gets by Randy Wood to center, but now Lauer steals. At the blue line, John Blum breaks it up. Blum flips it back in. Gerald Diddick over to Boyd. Dumps it back inside. The Capitals end, and the ruling from the linesman is that Scott Stevens got there first. Icing is the call against New York. Well, the Stanley Cup playoffs are just around the corner, and if you'd like your information on how you can pick up playoff tickets, Call the Capitals office right now at 386-7000. There are sales representatives on duty, and they will be on duty throughout tonight's hockey game. By the way, if you're coming out for the Minnesota game on Sunday, you'll have first crack at Capitals playoff tickets. They go on sale after the first period, only to the people here on Sunday against the Minnesota Nar Stars. The game starts at 105, and public sales go on at 3 o'clock. But if you'd like to get yourself playoff tickets throughout the entire series, you can pick up Information from the Capitol Sales Office throughout tonight's hockey game. That man, Billy Smith, certainly not one of the favorites of fans here at the Capitol Center, but I tell you, he picked up a few fans on home team sports last year with a very impressive performance after he'd been kicked out of a game. Visited with Jeff Rimmer on an intermission program and fielded all questions. Gave out quite a few answers, too. <laughs> may not like the way he does it on the ice, but you certainly have to admire him standing up and talking about it afterwards. LaFontaine gets a piece of the puck, but it goes to the corner. Peters out to move it along to Gaetan Duchesne. Back to Scott Stevens. Up to Kelly Miller. 
Miller works to center ice. Gets across the blue line. Drop pass for Bobby Gould. A wrist shot just wide of the net. Back to the left point. Here's Stevens a drive. That's deflected just wide. Now Duchesne in the corner. Taken over by Alan Kerr after Diddick hit him. And Kerr moves it ahead to Boyd. Boyd across the blue line. Back into the Washington zone. Splits the defense. But only can get to the corner with the puck. Murphy ties him up. Here's Gould to move it along. Wood ties up there. Hangs on to Bob Gould. The puck goes behind the goal. Here's Scott Stevens. Over to Murphy. Capitals changing on the fly, and Murphy dumps it in from center ice. Boyd tries to clear it right back out. Francis Getty gives Boyd a shot in the corner. And on the right wing comes Kerr. Throws it back to the other boards, and it's taken now by Michael Pavanka. Here comes Pavanka to center ice. Flips it across the blue line. Francis Getty back to the corner. He tries to center in front, but Leiter plays it away. Now in back of the goal, the puck cleared to the corner. Here's Ken Leiter for New York. Headmans to Conroy, up on right wing. Lafontaine tries to get by Langway. Peters comes out to kick it away. Now Conroy has it taken away. The puck cleared out to center ice, and grabbed again by New York's Dwayne Sutter. Out to Hatcher at center. Leiter works it free from Hatcher's stick, but Langway is there to take it over. Goes back to center ice. Brian Curran. Out to the red line, and Lachlan tries to put it back into the New York zone. Trache is given a hard bump by Greg Adams. Back come the Islanders. Crown to the line, slows up just a bit. That threw Trache offside, and play is called. Ryan Murray has seen the Islanders come out for checking heavily. They've dropped their defensemen in deep on a number of rushes. They are led by Randy Boyd, Ken Leiter in the last couple rushes. Leiter then going in deep, standing up there. The defenseman almost at the top of the faceoff circles, putting a lot of pressure on the Capitals in the early going to try and create some turnovers, and it's been effective so far. They've outshot Washington 7-1. to one. has taken the lead in this game on a goal by rookie Randy Wood. His first in the NHL from Lauer and Curran, only 2.32 into this contest. There are now nine minutes and 45 seconds to play in the first period. Gartner works to center. Tosses it back inside the Islander zone. Flatly with it behind the net. Has Christian on him, and Gartner steals. He tries to clear it in front for Mike Ridley, but Curran breaks it up. He sends it out now to Dale Henry on the right wing side. Wood looks for the puck, but Christian steals. Starts back to Gartner. Here's Gartner to Ridley. Hope check to the blue line. Christian carries it in on the right wing. Tries to get by Curran. Taken into the backboards by Brian Curran, and Gartner centers, but Morrow was the man there to take it back for New York. Up now to Flatley. Murphy right on him at the line. Christian bowled over by Ken Morrow. And the puck cleared back into the corner. Islanders start out. Caps not changing the lines. Here's Hanpa hustling in. Centers down the middle. Basson with a shot. That's deflected wide. Now back of the net. Here's Gary Galley. Trying to clear the zone. Gartner in to give him a hand, and he leads it out to Greg Adams. Popped up at center ice. Dwayne Sutter takes it over and puts it back into his own end. Capitals and Islanders complete the line change. And here's Diddick. Looks all the way to center ice. The puck skitters back into the Washington zone. The icing's waved off, and Langway's there. Rod Langway. Feeds it out to Gary Galley. Headman's to Haworth. Left side for Greg Adams. Back to Haworth across the line. Walking in is Haworth to the corner. Over to Lachlan. Lachlan pinned to the backboard. Now by Lauer. Leiter's in there to throw a check. Lachlan digs it free. Couldn't get it centered. Leiter hangs on to Adams behind the goal. Lachlan trying to move it along. Crumbs all over him. The puck centered, but Trotje steals for New York. Leads it ahead on right wing to Sutter. Bounces it back inside the Washington zone, and here's John Blum to play it. Blum over to Langway. 
Edmonds for Gaetan Duchesne. Toss back into Islander Ice. Out of neutral territory, here's Kelly Miller into the corner. Curran and Gould tie up. Morrow pinned on the play. Blum in the throw, a big hit on Nakala. But the Islanders come back, LaFontaine leads the charge. Pat LaFontaine, right side, Nakala fires wide. Rebound picked up by Nakala behind the net. A backhand shot, and a save is made by Peters. Nakala centers, that's wide. We have a penalty call coming up. A delayed call against the Capitals. Out of the nets comes Kelly Rudy. The sixth attacker is on. Here's Boyd on the makeshift power play. A drive from the point by Lauer, and Peters hangs on to stop play. Two minutes cross-checking to John Blum. Time of the call, 13-15 of period number one. No matter what the calendar says, spring seems to be in the Washington, Baltimore area and up and down the East Coast, and summer is well on its way. Now is the time to get in touch with your local Lennox dealer about the air conditioner you want. Roy has heating and air conditioning in Laurel, Maryland, and the Virginia Heating and Air Conditioning Company in Manassas, Maryland. Just two of the Lennox dealers will be glad to talk to you about your summer needs. But John Blum, who came and gave a crunching hit down in the capital zone to Miko Makala, but then Makala steamed up to start the three-on-two to finish off that three-on-two rush. It's called for cross-checking. Blum really hammered Makala, but Makala bounced back up and used that great speed of his to get back into the play. Pat LaFontaine set him up, and Makala whistled a, a drive just wide. Islanders retained possession, and it was Blum then getting the penalty to give New York, the second-ranked power play unit in the National Hockey League, their first opportunity tonight. It's a chance for the Islanders to add to their 1-0 lead. Randy Wood had scored earlier for New York. Trache's out there now with Flatley and Crum. Didick and Boyd are the blue liners. Rod Langway to work the faceoff against Brian Trache. He's paired up with Kevin Hatcher, while Mike Gartner and Gaetan Duchesne are the forwards. Langway wins the draw, brings to the backboard now for Duchesne. Over to the corner. Here's Didick trying to center. Gets it right on the stick of Flatley. In front to Crum. Backhander. Saved by Peters. Pete reaches out with his right hand and uses that stick to cover up. Outstanding save by Pete Peters as the Capitol penalty killers let Richie Crom get down low. Rod Langway goes for the puck. It takes a kind of a funny bounce, and Crom is all alone in front. Peters goes out, gets a piece of the puck, and then is able to cover up to force the face off. Watch, you'll see Crom's stick go right between the pads of Peters here. It looked like he had a good shot. There's the extra attempt, and he almost made contact. Langway coming over to help push Crom a little farther away from the action, but a good scoring chance right off the bat for New York. 145 left to go in the power play for the Islanders. They lead the Capitals one to nothing with six and a half minutes to play here in the first period. Here's Diddick over on the right point. Boyd a drive. Stevens makes the block. Tossed in by Diddick to the corner. Chased up the boards by Crom. Rich Crom taken out by Christian, and he clears the zone, sending it all the way back to neutral ice. A lead pass for Trache. Didick sends it in on net. Peters to save. Up the boards and Flatley tries to find the point man. Gould helps it along and it goes all the way down. Capitals change up. The Islanders trying to work a line change here. Here's Flatley into the Washington zone. Taken over by Langway. He feeds it out to Christian. Right wing side. Kelly Miller into the Islander zone. Gets off the shot, but it's blocked by Boyd. Didn't get much wood on it. And the Islanders come back. Miko Makala carries it into Washington tonight. Hatcher takes him down. Langway clears the puck. Up the boards for Leiter. Dwayne Sutter. Pressed to the backboard by Kevin Hatcher. Langway tries to move it along. Up to the point. Here's Conroy. Firing and a save made by Peters. Langway has lost his stick. Trache back to the point. Over to Conroy. Wrist shot right on. The save by Peters and cleared by Hatcher all the way down. That enables Langway to get his stick. Time running out on the power play for New York. Makala fires. Stick save to Peters. 
Here's a lead pass. Too far for Franceschetti. It goes all the way down. Back into the New York zone. Right into the corner. Franceschetti right there to keep it going. To Duchesne. Out of the box comes Blum. He hustles to the bench. Here's Larry Murphy. A shot just wide. Chase to the boards now for Gaetan Duchesne. Dwayne Sutter ties him up. Lighters in there to hold Duchesne against the corner boards. Franceschetti works it free to Duchesne behind the net. Duchesne on his backhand. Turns it around. Right on goal. A save made by Kelly Rudy. And the puck cleared all the way down the ice back into the Washington zone. Caps at full strength. Here's Peters with it. Leaves it now for Murphy. Over to Scott Stevens. Headbands to Larry Murphy. He starts to center ice. Looks it back into the Islander zone. Greg Adams into the corner. Moves it out front to the point. Murphy tries to keep it in. The Islanders come back three on two. In across the blue line. Here's Dale Henry. Bumped off the play by Larry Murphy. And Stevens has the puck. Throws it out to center. Now Adams tries to take over. He puts it back in the Islander zone. We're down to 340 left to go here in the first period. New York leads 1-0. Here comes Trottier in across the Capitals line. Hatcher ties him up. The puck right in front on the skate to Blum. And Blum plays the man, allowing Peters to take the puck. There's another Patrick Division opponent in action tonight. The New York Rangers in fourth place trying to make a move to catch the Capitals. They're involved in the Madison Square Garden game with the St. Louis Blues. And our home team sports correspondent, Rich Domich, is standing by at the Garden. Rich, what's going on in the game? Well, I'll tell you, it's been an exciting and an increasingly physical game here at the Garden. And the Rangers are holding on to a 2-1 lead after the first period. They came out skating hard, putting lots of pressure on St. Louis early. And it paid off when Ron DeGay intercepted the Blues pass in their zone and drilled home a 20-foot slap shot and put the Rangers up 1-0. The Blues came right back, though, four minutes later. Doug Gilmore this time picked off a Ranger pass, and he scored at point-blank range. That evened the score. The Rangers then took the lead at 14.58 when Thomas, Thomas Sandstrom nudged a rebound just past Rick Wamsley, a controversial goal, and gave the Rangers a 2-1 lead. All right, Rich, thank you. We'll be checking back with you later on tonight. Here's Mike Gartner across the blue line now for the Capitals. Looks to Christian in the corner. Flips it wide, and Ridley goes chasing it against the board. Flatley works it away. He starts out for New York. Leads the pass ahead to Crom. At the blue line, Trache waiting offside, but the puck cleared out to center. Blum gives Crom a shot. Here comes Christian to start back to Ridley inside the other zone. Conroy over to Flatley. Plays it off the boards out to center. The Capitals changing on the fly. And Stevens drops it back into New York ice. Bucks in all the way back into the capital zone. No icing. Off the boards comes Murphy to center. Now to Gartner. Mike Gartner. Hits Pavanka with a pass at the blue line. And he looks for Murphy. The play has been called offside. There's a break in the action with a score. The Islanders won. The Capitals nothing. A Tuesday night's game against the Islanders, but with Greg Smith being scratched, Galley returns to duty on the left side of the defense, working some of that point. The Capitals will get the power play. One nothing score. The Islanders have the lead over the Capitals. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the first period. Stevens with Henry right on him in the corner. Now it's slid up the boards by Murphy, but back to Dale Henry. Over to Basson. Tied up by Pavanka. Michael Pavanka with the puck behind the net to Scott Stevens. Off the boards to center ice. Alan Kerr tied up by Pavanka right in front of the Capitals bench, and they both team in to hit Kerr. Here's Franceschetti throwing it back into the Islander zone. Ken Morrow. Tries to work it free. Checked by David Jensen. The puck cleared out to center. Two on two, the Islander break. LaFontaine across the line to Kerr. Fires wide. Out to the blue line. Gaetan Duchesne to Bobby Gould. Gould works inside the New York zone. Drops it off to Duchesne. Back to Gould in the corner. He's pressed by Diddick on the play. Gould kicks it along the boards to the point. Langway carries it back into the corner. Here's Miller behind the net. Chased behind the goal by Dwayne Sutter and the puck 
That was back out to Makala. We're in the final okay. minute of play here in the first period. Wayne Sutter across the line. Drops it off. LaFontaine shot blocked by Langway. And now Miller starts back to Bobby Gould. Gould sends it inside the Islander zone. Rudy plays it off the glass. Wayne Sutter to the blue line. Kept in by Lockwood. Right wing side. Haworth, a quick slap shot. But Conroy blocks to the corner. 35 seconds to go here in the first period. It's Haworth on the right wing. Up ahead to Lockwood. Back to Haworth. Kicked into the corner. He ties up there. A hard hit thrown by Greg Adams into a pileup. Here's a slap shot from the point. Just wide. Murphy a drive. That is caught by Rudy. And he hangs on with 17 seconds to play in period one. Even though the Capitals have only put their third shot on goal, they certainly have picked it up a bit in the forward-checking department and in the hitting department, and they get a chance here. I guess that now will not count as a shot on goal. I think it did deflect off one of the Islanders and popped up to Kelly Rudy. But the Capitals badly outshot so far this period. The Islanders coming out as if they've got nothing to lose instead of being the team that would feel the pressure holding on to the one-point lead in second place. They have just come out and really taken it right to the Capitals. Washington, after the goal scored early, has responded but has been unable to put any consistent offensive pressure on the Islander goal in Kelly Rudy. Mike Ridley out there now with Gartner on the right, Christian on the left, Stevens and Murphy on the blue line. It is Flatley up front for New York with Crom and Trache, Conroy and Leiter. Ridley gets the draw. Back to Scott Stevens. Gives it away on the boards, and Flatley can't move it. Taken right back now by Mike Ridley. Now Flatley steals from him and sends it out to center ice. That should do it for the period. Murphy from center puts it back into the Islander zone, and there's the horn. Randy Wood's first oh, NHL goal is the lone mark on the score sheet scoring-wise. And a lot of tonight, all the teams that are visiting Long Island this weekend for the 10th annual Oyster Bay Hockey Tournament. Youngsters from as far away as Anchorage, Alaska. That team got to see the Islanders and the Canucks at the Coliseum last night, but there are teams from all over areas of Canada and the U.S. Games today, tomorrow, and again Sunday at Cadillac Park. So if you folks want to get out and see some good youth hockey, the 10th annual Oyster Bay Hockey Tournament is underway this weekend. For the Islanders, Brian Trotche between Patrick Flatley and Richard Crom. Boyd and Biddick together on defense. Haworth, Lachlan, and Adams up front for the Caps as they try to move the puck in at the Islander blue line. Haworth lost it in his gates. Richard Crom played it to the Washington line. Stevens to Haworth, back to Stevens. Cross to the right side to Lachlan. Lachlan shoots it in. Bounces to the side of the net. Kelly Rudy out of the goal to play it. Gave it to Randy Boyd around the boards, off the boards. Quick shot, stick save by Rudy and a fine drive off the stick of Alan Haworth. Flatley dumps it into center ice. Stevens over to Murphy. Murphy flips it high over the head of the Islander defenseman, Diddick. Trache comes back to the puck, and Diddick is going off. He took Adams down, and Gerald Diddick is getting a holding penalty. Washington skating a little better here in the first shift of the second period. Haworth with a good opportunity to put it in. What a stop by I Kelly Rudy. His four, hardest four, test Gerald so Diddick. far in the hockey game, a broken play. The puck came awkwardly off the off the boards to the left of Kelly Rudy and Haworth picked it up and drilled it here's the puck now shot around by Randy Boyd that hit something in the boards come right out in front there's the shot Haworth ripped it Kelly Rudy makes a pretty good stop and Adams in his familiar position standing in front of Kelly Rudy he was then leveled by Gerald Diddick and Diddick gets the penalty so Washington get their first power play opportunity and they are ranked a mere 18th in the league on power play. But they used the power play against the Islanders on Tuesday night and right now Stevens holding the puck at the left point in front to Christian. Laid it to the side of the net. Ivanka goes back to the goal with a pass for Ridley. Out in front, Gartner's shot hit the side of the net. Ends up here at the left point. Now Christian goes in a little deeper with it. Plays it back of the net. Pavanka trying to center. Christian is checked by LaFontaine. That LaFontaine fires it down the ice. Pete Peters leaves it for Gartner. Alan Kerr knocks the skates out from under him, but Stevens picks up the puck. He is checked in turn by Bob Basson. 
Basson turning at center ice. Caps chasing him as he plays it to Dwayne Sutter. Gartner runs into Sutter. And Conroy has cleared it to the Washington blue line. This is Dave Christian. Over to Stevens. Stevens steps over center ice. Tries the right side off the boards out of the reach of Gartner. And the puck has been cleared down the ice. 65 seconds remaining in Biddick's holding penalty as Stevens rounds the net. Scott Stevens will leave the ranks of bachelorhood this summer, along with a couple of other caps, including Larry Murphy. Caps go offside. The Islander line is being delayed and called back now as Haworth and Crom bump shoulder to shoulder. Washington, an awful time trying to get organized. Easy for the Islander penalty killers. They haven't been able to get across the Islanders' blue line with the puck yet. That time they did, but it was offside. Take a look at Ken Morrow wearing the captaincy for the third game in a row. Washington do not seem to have anybody to take charge on the power play to settle them down. They don't seem to be going all in the right same direction at the same time. Very confusing. You saw Scott Stevens a moment ago go back, pick up the puck. As he started up the ice, he still had two forwards coming back toward him. As he tried to hesitate, then of course one of the forwards was too far up the ice. So rather disorganized power play. That's the way they've been all season long. It's easy to see why they're ranked 18th. Only three teams have a power play that's worse. Rache beat Haworth on the faceoff, so the Caps had to start from deep in their own zone, and Murphy shoots it in around the board. The Islanders get back, knock the puck loose. Galley got it to the line. Murphy shot one wide. Trache chases it out on the right wing boards, and it goes all the way down into the Washington end. Of course, in that shot by Murphy, the shooting in the first period, Washington with only two shots on goal. They had some opportunities, but they missed with them. And here again, Murphy on a power play misses well wide of the net. Here's a delayed offside now, Washington. Three ticks of the clock left in that penalty. And they do not get a shot on goal as Diddick steps out of the penalty box. He knocked Adams down at center ice again. Miller comes over the line. Kearns lost it. LaFontaine trying to shake the check for Miller. Kerr picks it up. Alan Kerr plays it across out of the reach of LaFontaine. Carol Diddick back to the blue line. Conroy fires one. Peters the save. Dropped it in the goal mouth and covers up on it. A break in the action. 16 minutes, 59 seconds left in the second period. The Islanders maintain a one to nothing lead. was Gerald's penalty for? Holding. Holding. Sherry, do you fool around? Do you fool around? Bob Basson moves in to center the Islander forward line as you look at the Caps bench. They've made a player change, sending Ridley out to take the draw, and Conroy's shot was blocked at the defense. Mike Gartner on right wing, ahead to Ridley. Former New York Ranger shoots it into the Islander zone. Kelly Rudy cuts it off back of the net. Kenny Leiter took the man. Ridley takes the puck, put it out in front. Gartner unable to knock it out of the air, and Hanpa starts out with it. The pass to Dwayne Sutter. Over the Washington line, Sutter walks around, Hatcher moves in, shoots, good stop by Peters. Christian able to knock the rebound loose. Basson takes it back in the net. Knocked down, takes Christian down as well. Hatcher and Wayne Sutter tie up one another. Now Langway gets it loose. Langway to Ridley. Drops it back. Langway comes out to center ice. Pass to Gartner, shoots one off the wing that was wide of the net. Honpa chases it. Can't clear it away from Hatcher. Now Diddick centers, Gartner shoots, what a stop by Rudy, and the rebound is cleared aside. The Caps get some chances, but Rudy comes up big. One to nothing, the Islanders leading on Randy Wood's first NHL goal as we watch Diddick round the net and start out with it. That's a good demonstration of what good goaltending will do. It keeps you from having play plays like that, broken plays, mistakes, so costly. What a stop by Kelly Rudy off Mike Gartner. Gartner surprised, found the puck on his stick. Nobody around him. He's right at the slot. Rudy, just as surprised, came up big. Kenny Morrow from behind the net. Off the left wing boards and out into center. It's going the length of the ice. Stevens comes back to touch up. We'll get an icing call against the New York Islanders. 
What an opportunity for the Washington Capitals. They've had two here early in the second period. The Stanley Cup playoffs are just around the corner. The public sale of tickets to the first round of postseason play will begin tomorrow. March the 28th at 10.30 a.m. at both the Coliseum box office and Ticketmaster outlets. To charge by phone, call Ticketmaster at either 516-888-9000 or 212-307-7171. Customers will be limited to four tickets per game. Lining up for a face-off in the circle to the left of Kelly Rudy, Bob Gould will face off against Pat LaFontaine. Gould wins the draw. Murphy lost it. LaFontaine can't drag it out of there. Now Kerr does. Alan Kerr over the line on left wing. Trying to cut in a backhander. Peters to save. And the rebound bounced over the stick of LaFontaine. Murphy back the other way over center with a pass to Kelly Miller. Miller chased to the corner. Puts it in front. It's jammed just wide of the net as Gould went right to the goal mouth. Gould and Rudy jostling at one another. In the meantime, the puck has been shot high and deflected up into the seats. A break in the action. 15 minutes to play in the second period. The Islanders lead the Caps 1 to nothing. We're hearing Billy uh, Bill Brown with his uh, calls for the replays and so on while we're reading promos, Dan. I was hesitating on the reading of that promo. I kept looking yeah. at the screen thinking I was going to have to jump out or go to a replay or something here. So I could probably do both if I had to. <laughs> Look at Kelly Rudy. He had a visitor in the goal mouth with him a couple of minutes ago that he didn't appreciate. Bobby Gould, there he stands. He's looking around for the puck. Kelly Rudy says, he says, now wait a minute, what are you doing? Stay here and talk to me for a minute, will you? <laughs> I got something to tell you. Gould says, get out of here. I got to get out there because I'm offside. Puck's out in the center ice area. Is that really what they were saying or are you making that up? No, that's true. He's saying no. It's kind of lonely here. This hockey game only had three shots on goal in the whole hockey game. I need somebody to talk to, something to keep me busy. Stay here, will you? Folks, if you believe that, I've got some swamp land that you might be interested in. Kelly Rudy's a personable guy. I mean, I'm not questioning that. He plays on a team, and in a team atmosphere, you shouldn't be left alone and have nothing to do and nobody to talk to. So now he's saying to, well, none of my own players have been back here long enough. You guys haven't been in here. I think what we'll do is set up one of our 900 telephone numbers <laughs> one night and see if the fans believe what you're saying. You well, believe what's the, now, what's yes the shots no? on goal? Now, you tell the folks what the shots on goal are. They're four now to 20. Yeah. Okay, in favor of the Islanders. All right. That's all. So you know that Kelly Rudy hasn't been very busy. Okay. Flatley here on the right side with Trache. And Crom and the puck is deflected over the glass on into the seat. Or he was maybe making a deal with Gould. That could have been the thing. He could have been saying to him, well, look, now, you get a couple of shots, but don't put them in and I'll make brilliant saves. Make them easy, and I'll make you look good. You'll make me look good. No? You don't think so? No. Oh, all right. No, I'm not buying any of that. Listen, I had Stan McKee to say to me one time in a hockey game. It was right near the end. It was the last couple of games of the season, the Boston Bruins were out of the thing, and Makita comes to me and he says, look it, I'm two points away from a bonus, a lot of dough. You think you can help me out? <laughs> I said, I haven't got the kind of money that you need a loan for. I said, what do you expect me to do? He said, go talk to the goaltender. He said, I already did. He said, no. How many points did he get that night? None. All right. Oh, no. Rache on this face-off against Haworth. The puck goes back to Langway, now to Lachlan. Shoots it in around the boards. Rudy could not get a stick on it. It comes to the left point for Langway. He is checked. Patrick Flatley kicks it up the boards. A race for it. Crom trying to get in front of Langway does, but the Caps get a man back. Howard brings Lachlan over center ice. Shoots from the blue line. Rudy got the blocking glove in front of it. And Gerald Dittick here on right wing takes a hit from Adams after clearing it out. Stevens at center ice. Over to Lachlan. Lachlan plays it around the boards again. Rudy... Finds the open wing. Trotje came back for the puck, and again, it skipped off the boards in an unusual manner. Richard Crom down the right wing. Works on Scott Stevens, trying to go around him. Kept the puck in his skates, gets it to the stick, and his shot drifts wide of the net. Matt LaFontaine lets one go off right wing that's blocked. Murphy across to Gartner. Ran into a check from McAlla, and here's Morrow with it. 
Banks it off the boards into the Washington zone. Stevens handling it with a pass to Murphy. Murphy played it away from Ridley, away from Christian as well. Kenny Morrill for the Islanders to LaFontaine to Kerr. Now Makala chases the puck in on right wing. Makala to LaFontaine. He shoots Peters, beats him, and oh, it got behind Peters, but Gartner cleared it out. Close call there. The Caps move the puck into center ice. Morrill shoots it right back in again, wide of Pete Peters. Stevens, first man back, is chased behind the net by Kerr. The pass ahead to Ridley. Ridley shoots it in from its own side of center. Conroy touches up, and that's icing against the cap. Close call. The Islanders get an opportunity when Pat LaFontaine takes a beautiful pass, lets the shot go. It trickled between the pads of Pete Peters. Gardner got in behind. Here's the pass. Miko Makala to Pat LaFontaine. Watch between the pads of Peters. There's the puck. Trickling for the line, there's Gardner as he slams it off the far boards, taking a scoring away from the Islanders. There's the play again. LaFontaine, Gardner in the right place. Good defensive move by Mike Gardner. He left Miko Makala after Makala had made the pass to LaFontaine, figuring I better get back in there somewhere so I can do some good. He did a lot of good. That puck had just enough steam to get across the goal line had Gardner not got to it as quick as he had. Randy Wood out with Dale Henry and Brad Lauer. Wood knocked down, the puck goes to Leiter through a screen and a shot deflected. Francis Getty with it. Plays it off the boards, Conroy at center ice. Gave it to Randy Wood who shoots it back in again. Then Wood is flattened on a hit from Francis Getty. Langway rounds the net. Plays it to Hatcher, across to Jensen. David Jensen into the outer zone on left wing, dropped the puck. Bronco gave it to Hatcher, back to the left point. Plays it to the corner. Francis Getty is covered. Leiter moves it around the boards. Here's Pavanka with it. Pavanka to Jensen. Jensen finds the wraparound, is taken down. Leiter's going to get a penalty here. Comes back to Hatcher at the blue line. Into the corner. Jensen to Pavanka. Let's it go to Hatcher covering the point. The Caps get the extra man out of the ice. Jensen's pass is relayed, and as Henry picks it up, Play is called, and the Islanders are going to be shorthanded for the second time in the period. A break in the action. The Islanders maintain a 1-0 lead over the Washington Capitals. Ken Leiter draws the penalty. Washington trying to put pressure on. They're down there. There's Jensen as he tries to go behind. Now, if Leiter maintains one hand on the stick and checking, he generally that's not going to be a penalty, but you could see his left hand go wrapping around Jensen as he tried to get beyond him. And when you put both arms around, you're gone. A Leiter for holding at 7.55. The Islanders are out shooting the Caps 21 to 5 at this point in the game. Ryan Trache to take the face off against Alan Haworth. Palm is the other forward and he digs the puck out of there, gave it to Morrow and he slapped it down the ice. Ryan Kern is the other member of the Islander defense pair. Lachlan is up front with Haworth for Washington. Haworth pass. Gary Galley sweeps it in around the boards. Rudy cut it off, and Brian Kern had a little trouble handling it. It's cleared by Rudy to Trotche, and down the ice it goes. Seems that the Washington Capitals try to handle the puck so many times before they get to the red line, the center ice line, that the Islanders' penalty killers are having a good time just standing and waiting for them. Lachlan carried it over this time and then banked it in off Borough. Alan Kerr tied up in the corner. Kern comes in as well as his arm wrapped around Lachlan. Let's him go. Lachlan back to Galley. Galley is checked and Kern has cleared it out. Murphy coming back in the Washington defense. Kerr trailing him. Murphy parks behind the net as the Caps complete some player changes. The pass to Galley. Galley into center ice. Shoots it around the boards. Rudy slowed it up a little. Greg Adams will get to it. Adams to Ridley. Let it go to Christian. Christian comes out of the corner. LaFontaine on top of him. Finds him up again. A battle for the puck. Christian had it in his skates. Gets it to the corner for Ridley. Back to the blue line to Mike Gartner, and he had to get it outside the line. 
33 seconds left in the power play for the Cavs. Over the line they come. Christian cutting to right wing. Runs out of skating room as Conroy is right on him. Tied up on the boards. And again, a battle for it. Uses up a lot of precious time. The puck's still in play, and it comes out of those skates. Kenny Morrow plays it around the board. Stevens pinches in off the point. Gave it to Pavanka. Back of the net to Ridley. Centers, and that drive went wide of the net as Christian was parked there waiting for it. Alan Kerr gets a stick on it. Can't clear it out. Stevens off the blue line. Stevens shakes the check. Gave the puck to Ridley. Across the Gartner. He shoots. That went wide. Ridley with the rebound. Gets in deep. Beams at six aside. Ridley back to the Gartner. He shoots. That's blocked. And the puck ends up at center ice. LaFontaine with it. Gives it to Kenny Leiter. Leiter lets one go. Peters had it in the catching glove and dropped it off for Pavanka. Pavanka clears the zone. Leiter picks it up at center and shoots it right back in. Past the midway point of the second period, it's still one to nothing, Islanders. This is Scott Stevens. That's feeling pressure both from the Islanders and now the New York Rangers who have gone way ahead of the St. Louis Blues in a game at Madison Square Garden. A Ranger win, a Washington loss, and the Caps are only one point up on the Rangers. Battles for second, third, and fourth place going on here in the Patrick Division as we come to the Final week of the NHL season. Bobby Gould picks it up in the Islanders zone. Gets checked. Takes the check. Trying to get out in front. Shot one wide. Comes back to Hatcher. Let's it go off the point. And it was blocked. Which Kwan clears it out. Langway with it in the center ice area. Burns trying to get away from Dwayne Sutter. Two power play chances in this period for the Caps. And they did not get a shot on goal on either occasion. Carroll did it to Trotje, who relays it into center ice. Murphy plays it off the left wing boards. Adams goes in after it. Didick steps in front of him. Didick's taken to the boards heavily. The puck comes loose. Howard from back of the net, unable to center. Crom bumps him. Here's Randy Boyd circling the net. Boyd over to Crom. Rink wide to Trotje. Comes over the line on the right side, working on Blum. Trotje into the corner to Crom. Rom pulls it away from Haworth in front to Leiter and his shot is blocked by Peters and cleared now by Lachlan. Leiter holds it in, has given it to Crom, to Kerr, back to the blue line to Conroy. Conroy in front to Rich Crom. Crom trying to shake Murphy's check, centered, Kerr is knocked down. Conroy with a shot, Peters the save and the rebound is slapped out of there and down the ice. Tremendous pressure by the Islanders right after the Washington Capitals completed another weak power play. It's been all Islanders, look out here. Jensen stole the puck, moves in and scores. A giveaway at the blue line and the Caps have tied it up. One big mistake by the Islanders and the Washington Capitals. They have a lot of sharpshooters on the team. That's why it's hard to understand why they have such a poor power play. Look at Dave Jensen as he lets a low shot go to the left of Kelly Rudy. Here's the broken play. Ken Leiter in pursuit. Jensen makes a good move. He reaches out in front, controlling the puck, and then rips it into the lower right-hand corner. It's a 1-1 tie with 7.46 remaining. Here in the second period, only the seventh shot on goal for the Washington Capitals. And they make the seventh one a lucky one, a big one. And it's tied the score. Let's look again at the broken play. There's the loose puck in the center ice area right on the Islander blue line. And Dave Jensen, who had come off the ice on a change, a quick change, picked up the loose puck and put it in. It's tied at one apiece. Dwayne Sutter and Brian Curran now talking with goaltender Kelly Rudy, obviously about that play. Sutter had talked to the referee originally. There's something, I believe, on the boards or some problem. The puck, every time it goes around the boards, it seems to ricochet out in front of the net or not crazily in unusual fashion. Miller moves in after a loose puck. Brian Curran with it. The Washington goal is Jensen unassisted. Puck is up on top of the ledge, cleared out, and then a heavy hit on LaFontaine, and Curran immediately jumps in front of Hatcher. A little jostling, nothing too serious. Seven minutes, 26 seconds to play. Second period, the score is tied, 1-1. Yeah. 
six one the last I saw. Okay. Well, the body connect contact here in this hockey game continues. Kevin Hatcher down the board, runs over. Pat LaFontaine, Hatcher looks up and look out. Here comes Brian Curran after Hatcher. All kinds of things happening here at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland, and back, back at Madison Square Garden. The Rangers have taken a six to one lead over the St. Louis Blues at the end of the second period. Rangers getting serious. I understand they had a two and a half hour skate yesterday at their Rye practice facility, which in itself, the day before a game, is unusual. But the day after a shellacking handed out by New Jersey, I guess it was to be expected. And they have responded, obviously. Coaches at that particular point say, well, look, you guys got to have a lot left. Obviously, you didn't do any skating against the, Sa or against the New Jersey Devils, so why not spend it now and see what you can do tomorrow? Nico Makala with a shot off left wing that's blocked by Peters. Wayne Sutter played it around the boards. Christian bumped by Makala. The Fontaine moves in. And again moves in. Wayne Sutter there as well. The puck underneath Dave Christian. There will be a face off to the right of Pete Peters. The Caps have had seven shots on goal. The Islanders to this stage of the game have had 24. Tomorrow at 1.30, catch more great preseason Mets baseball. The world champion Mets take on the Montreal Expos tomorrow. Preseason baseball excitement. You won't want to miss it. Only on Sports Channel. Oh, we have a 1-1 tie going here at the Cap Center with 6 minutes and 37 seconds. Alan Kerr, who will celebrate his 23rd birthday tomorrow, the victim of a blind pass at the blue line, picked off by Jensen, and that's what led to the tying goal. Rache with Flatley and Crom for the Islanders. Boyd and Diddick at the points. Next game for the Islanders is in St. Louis on Tuesday night. And Denny Potvin, who guested with me on the Islanders postgame radio show last night, expects to be back in the lineup Tuesday night. Talking with trainer Craig Smith tonight, he said it's possible that Greg Gilbert and Gord Deneen may also return to the lineup next Tuesday. The Islanders get home next Thursday night against Quebec. There's a good possibility that Thomas Johnson will be ready to play. Loose puck in the goal mouth. Peters down. It's underneath him. He got run over a little bit, but managed to hold on to the puck. And gets up slowly. There's a break in the action at the cap center. Six and a half minutes to play in the second period. The score is tied 1-1. The Islanders dominate the face-off circle here in this game so far. We're into the second period, 6.31 remaining, a 1-1 tie. That flurry around Washington's goal. Peters come up with another stop with the Islanders winning a face-off. Back to the point man, Randy Boyd, having things stirred up back there as he held the puck and let it fly in a screenshot. Cool Randy Boyd has played very well for the Islanders. Each time they brought him up, they've sent him back twice. That peat is not the stuff you burn in your furnace if you're in Ireland or Scotland. That's goaltender peat, Pete Peters. The Fontaine, Flatley, and Prom for the Islanders. Ball start on the faceoff. They'll do it again. I thought it was an eye chart they were holding up for Andy Van Helleman. <laughs> Very good. Andy Van Helleman. <laughs> One of the referees that wears a helmet. Now in the National Hockey League, nothing new. They've been doing that for the last few years. He's one of the few referees. Haworth on the faceoff, played the puck to the corner. Murphy has it. Rich Crom right on him. Murphy played it off the boards. Flatley stole it, but played it behind LaFontaine. He and Christian bumped together, and here's Haworth. Played it away from Stevens, who gets to it now. 
Gave it to Murphy. Up to Greg Adams. He clears it out to center ice for Howard. Howarth and Christian over the line. Dropped it for Dave Christian. His shot blocked by Randy Boyd. Howarth with it. Centers. Christian plays it into the corner. Randy Boyd bumped by Adams. They both go to the deck. Now Christian comes in. Diddick ties him up. And the puck is under Boyd for a faceoff. Alan Howarth just had his head bent back. Pat LaFontaine, who has been much more aggressive as of late. Howarth, we were watching him earlier. Interesting note on him that since rendezvous, the All-Star break, the Washington Capitals have nine wins and two losses with him back in the lineup. A good skater, good center iceman. You could see him on the faceoff after the Islanders had won two in a row. I guess he decided to bear down. He won the last one, and that's how the puck ended up down in the Islanders' end of the ice. Him winning the faceoff, gaining possession, allowing his team to come out of their own end of the ice. Rangers have a couple of goals from Jeff Jackson tonight. The rookie acquired from the Toronto Maple Leafs has started to fit nicely into that Ranger lineup. Ron Duguay opened the scoring in that hockey game. Gilmore with his 36th tied it. And then it's all Rangers. Sandstrom, McKegney, Jackson twice, and then Marcel Dion. Rangers had lost both games at St. Louis this year. The Blues have difficulty playing the Rangers in Madison Square Garden. Gartner tied up Dwayne Sutter. John Blum trying to move it around the boards. Langway has given it to Miller. Up to Ridley. The pass now to Gartner. Gartner into the Islander zone. Let's it go. And that went wide. On paw stepped in front of Ridley. The puck played behind the net. Gartner moves it away from Leiter. Picks it up again. And is checked by Ken Leiter. Kelly Miller works it into the corner. On paw roughing him up a little bit. Now Ridley with it, drops it back to Langway, a shot from the blue line, bounces off Dwayne Sutter and goes over the glass. There's a break in the action with five minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the second period. The score is tied, 1-1. That's all? Must be the way I've been reading it. <laughs> no, that's low. No. Jeez, should be more tonight. This game should be. Well, of course, the Rangers are on. And the... Hey, sports fans, it's time to vote for the Islanders 86 87 most valuable player, and I'll get you the numbers. So get your pencil and paper ready. The most valuable Islander. We've got three names and three numbers. And Stevens has the puck and just shoots it wide of Kelly Rudy. Morrow picks it up. Kenny Morrow out on the right side, banks it off the glass. Off linesman Wayne Bonney and into the penalty box. What are the numbers? Well, if you're ready to vote, and that's going to take place again on March the 31st, but if you'd like to vote for Mike Bossy, here's the number, 900-720-5494. If you want to vote for Brian Trache, it's 900-720-5499. And for Pat LaFontaine, 1-900-720-0070. A random number of callers will be selected to win Sports Channel t-shirts and be entered in the drawing for a pair of tickets to the first Home Islander playoff game. There's a 50 cent telephone charge, so dial carefully. Trache against Pavanka for this face-off to the right of Kelly Rudy. Trache put the puck in the corner. Jensen trying to step around Morrow. Comes up the near boards. Pavanka centers one. Curran had a grip on Francis Getty, and now the Islanders cleared out into center right. Stevens back. Shot it off the boards. Morrow with it. They add to the Washington line, but Murphy moves up and forces the Islanders to go back. Rudy out of the net. Gets bumped by Francis Getty as he played it around to the left wing. Dale Henry. Got it to Randy Wood, who comes over center ice. The Yaley into the Washington zone, not able to split the defense. Brad Lauer picks it up and fired it just wide as Peters came out to meet him. Babanka moves up the left wing for Washington. Into the Islanders zone, lets one go that hit Randy Boyd. Babanka knocks it down and shoots it over Rudy and scores! Babanka puts it up in the air, it's 2-1. Randy Boyd showing goaltender Kelly Rudy what happened. Kelly Rudy still hasn't seen the puck. I think Randy Boyd tried to clear it with his hand, and he batted it in the air, went up over top of the goaltender in behind him. There's the original shot by Pavonka. 
There's the puck tapped in the air. Randy Boyd reached up. Boom, it's in the net. It went right over the top. A field goal over the shoulder of Kelly Rudy. There he is looking for it. There's the puck in the air. Randy Boyd reached up, and I think he may have touched it, and it lifted just enough and a little higher to get over the head and shoulders of Kelly Rudy, and it's now 2-1 to one on an awkward-looking goal for the Washington Capitals. Pavanka will get credit for the goal. Unassisted goal. Pavanka, his 18th of the year, as Boyd is taken down by Langway. Alan Kerr steps into Duchesne, but the puck has been frozen on the end boards. There'll be a face-off to the left of Pete Peters. The seventh and eighth shots on goal for the Washington Capitals in this hockey game. That's their total, have both been in the net. Funny looking goal, a long time since I've seen one such as that. Pavanka's shot was broken up. It, it popped in the air, there's the puck. Randy Boyd, you see him reach up? I think that may have gone off the end of his glove. It raised it just enough that it got over the head of Kelly Rudy and dropped down in the net behind him like a three-pointer in college basketball. Now the Islanders who had led one to nothing until the 12-14 mark of this second period trailed out two to one. LaFontaine with McAla and Kerr, Leiter and Conroy at the points. Langway will take the draw. You see the way he squared in his own zone and he got the puck to Gould. Gould rounds the net. Gave it to Hatcher who clears it out to center ice. Gould moves up, ran into Steve Conroy. This is LaFontaine handling it over the Washington line. Played it through Hatcher, and then it gets taken down. Play goes on. Bob Gould dumps it into center ice, and Kerr is back. Alan Kerr waiting for his teammates to get back on side. Now Langway plays it to the right side, and Christian clears it. Leiter shooting it right back in. Just wide of Peters, who reached for it at the last second. Langway to Duchesne. Played it off Makala. Alan Kerr dumps it in deep. Langway, the captain of the Caps here in the corner, up to Gaetan Duchesne. Duchesne feeds it into the Islander zone, and the Caps go for a player change. Kelly Rudy has given it to Steve Conroy. Conroy's pass to Patrick Flatley. Flatley shoots it into the corner. Richard Crom after it. Crom fired one from a sharp angle. Locked out of the air by Peters, and here's Stevens. Up the wing to Greg Adams. Adams checked in his own zone, and Flatley drops it back into center ice. Morrow unable to tie up Lachlan. Flatley does. Took him down, and no penalty call. The fans here at the cap center are hollering now at the referee. Rache brings it out into center ice. Fires a long shot off the blocking glove of Peters and up into the seats. Opportunities to call penalties at both ends of the ice, and Andy Van Helleman neglects to call either one. I think that's a good move. If you're going to let one go, let the other one go. There's Craig Lachlan down at the other end. The Islanders got tied up that time. Flatley ties up Lachlan. You see him looking out with his right hand away. In other words, what I was saying to you before, if both arms get around the player and he goes down, that's generally asking for a penalty and flatly knows that the players obvious to it so he had both arms but not at the same time he got him with the left and then with the right but not both of them at the same time I'm trying to explain that to the washington fans but i don't think they want to <laughs> they want to hear it Strache wins the face off crom gets it back to boy stevens broke up the return pass and sends gartner to center ice the pass to ridley Ridley trying to get in around Diddick, a backhander to Miller, and it was cut off at the side of the net. Ridley with it to Kelly Miller. Rache knocks him down back of the net, takes him down a second time. The puck comes out of there. Ridley trying to go back of the net, and the net is knocked over on top of Kelly Rudy. That's goaltenders never mind it coming that way. You can't get the puck in. <laughs> they want to do that all night long. Just keep it the way it is, folks. That's like boarding up the net. <laughs> Mike Gardner from the side being jostled at Ridley and Miller both down behind the net. There's Mike Gardner, number 11. He's checked by Diddick. He's pushed. There's the net as it starts to go forward. Look at hey, Well, listen, Ooh. I may as well finish it. Hang on there. Kelly Rudy looked like a caged lion. And he was playing like a caged lion, stopping everything coming at him. 
as I mentioned, he'd love to see the net boarded up. Some <laughs> nights it's like it's boarded up for the opposition. Second time I've seen that happen this week. Yes, we saw it happen once before. Back at an Islander game, the puck. No, the, the, oh, I meant this week. The Rangers and the, oh, yes. and the Devils, and they shoved it over on top of That's, Elaine Jeffrey. Yes. About exactly. as close as the Rangers got to the... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the Devils, Sunday at 1.30, the New Jersey Devils take to the ice to battle the St. Louis Blues. More Devil action coming your way on Sports Channel. That's Sunday at 1.30, the Devils and the Blues, so don't miss it. Two to one, Washington leading the Islanders as Gerald Diddick brings the puck to center ice. Diddick plays it around Stevens. Dwayne Sutter's shot went wide in the net. Here's Hanpa at the left side, fanned on it. Randy Boyd steps in front of Miller. Hanpa comes back for the puck. On pause. The Basson up the right side to Dwayne Sutter. Lofts it in off the board. Peters leaves it for Murphy. Murphy stepped away from Hanpa, banked it up the left wing boards, on into center ice, and back goes Leiter. Leiter's pass off Ridley. It's loose in the Washington end of the ice. Stevens gets double team. Managed to get the puck to Ridley. Now to Miller. Over to Gartner. Across the Islander line is taken out by Conroy. Murphy follows through. Larry Murphy centers one in front. Ridley had it knocked away by Rudy. Ridley back to Stevens. The slap shot is blocked, and Leiter picks it up and starts out. Danny Leiter over center ice. Wayne Sutter and Hanpa with him. Leiter lost control of the puck, and Murphy has cleared it. This is Ridley down the left wing boards. Gave it to Dave Christian, trying to cut around Curran, and he shot one high. Wayne Sutter here on right wing with just over a minute to go in the period has cleared it out to center. One Blum the period. leads it to Langway. On Langway, back to John Blum. Shoots it in from center ice. Wayne Sutter bumps Duchesne as he pursued the puck. Duchesne gets to it. It's out on the short side and the wraparound missed. Langway pinches in, runs into Kern, and the puck goes up into the seats. 43 seconds remaining in the second period. Kern and Langway nose to nose here. Nothing serious going to develop. I'd like to remind you of the cutathon to support Little People's Research Fund Incorporated. It's going to take place this Sunday from 2 in the afternoon to 8 in the evening at Susan Michelle Hair Graphics. They're at 2717 Merrick Road in Belmore. That's this Sunday from 2 to 8. Several of your favorite Islanders will be there to sign autographs, have your picture taken with them. Sticks, pennants, a lot of prizes to be raffled off. That's this Sunday from 2 to 8. Is 2717 Merrick Road in Belmore, and again, the proceeds go to the Little People's Research Fund. One of the Islanders' favorite fans in that group of little people, and we hope that she'll be out to support it. Gould with Christian and Duchesne up front for the Caps against LaFontaine, Kerr, and Makala for the Islanders. Linesman Wayne Bonney asking Bob Gould to vacate the faceoff area. Dave Christian comes in. Fontaine gets the puck back to Morrow. They're serenading Kelly Rudy here. Stevens on the Washington defense. Played it into center to Christian who dumps it in. Gould had to step around Morrow's stick and Rudy out of the net. Gets it to Makula. Makula bothered by Dave Christian. Kern is there. The puck goes to Morrow. There's it out into center ice. Duchesne plays it right back in. Brian Curran picks it up with 15 seconds left in the period. Drops it into center. Scott Stevens hammers one right on target. Here's Morrow. Kenny Morrow plays it down into the Washington zone, and that'll do it for period two as Langway just takes it back to the net. Time runs out. But the Caps get a couple of unassisted goals. The Islanders dominated as far as shots on goal again in the period, but it's Washington with a couple of strange things happening. And they take the lead. Your score after 40 minutes at the Cap Center is the Caps 2 and the Islanders 1. Back with a recap following these messages.
Good, how you doing? That's where we stand as they get ready to drop the puck for the beginning of the third period. Trache between Flatley and Crom for the Islanders. Boyd and Pittock on defense. Lachlan won the draw. Or Howitt, I should say, pulled it back to Murphy. The pass to Lachlan intercepted. Rich Crom had a ducked away. Carol Diddick comes back to pick it up. Diddick waiting. Adams chased him behind the net. Diddick starts out with it. The pass up the left side out of the reach of Trache. Peters lets it go back to the net. Scott Stevens. Did not get to it first, they rule, and Stevens is screaming at the linesman as the Islanders get the puck. The shot blocked by Peters, the rebound loose in front, and over comes Howard. Up to Lachlan. Lachlan over center ice. Plays it to the left side for Adams. Adams and Lachlan trying to cut in. The puck knocked away. Here's Patrick Flatley with it. Flatley into center ice. Howard took a run at Rich Crom. Nothing called. Brian Trache with the puck. Unable to get it to Flatley in return. And Lachlan clears it down into the Islanders' zone. Kelly Rudy plays it across to Ken Leiter. Up the middle. Richard Crom has made a player change. And Alan Kerr comes out now for the Islanders with LaFontaine and Makala. Makala with the puck. It's over the line. Langway knocked it off his stick. This is Gerald Biddick for Hatcher, excuse me. The opposite cover for the Caps into the Islanders zone. Gave it to Bob Gould. Gould centers from the corner. Makala broke that up. Makala sends LaFontaine into center ice. Had a bouncing puck to contend with. Plays it to the right side. Kerr shot went wide of Peters. Ends up here at the left point. Kern reaches. Knocked it away from Dave Christian. It went to Gould. His pass to Duchesne on left wing. Duchesne shoots. That went wide. As Morrill slipped right by Gaetan Duchesne. Now Morrill out of the right wing corner. Plays it into the center ice zone. Blum takes it for the Caps. Shoots it around the boards. Dwayne Sutter over on right wing. Plays it away from Miller. Stevens coming in late. Controlled it, but lost it to Morrill. Now to Hanpa. Ari Hanpa over center ice. Into the Washington zone. Shoots one wide of Peters. Dwayne Sutter chasing the rebound. Sutter checked in the corner. Bob Basson played it outside the line to Boyd. Waiting for Dwayne Sutter to get back on side. Dumps it in. The Islanders... Get back on side in time, and the Caps move it around to the right side. Blum's effort to clear it out was deflected in front, and Hanpa couldn't handle it, and here's Miller sending Gartner up right wing. Gartner, the big slap shot. Rudy knocks it out of the air. Randy Boyd takes it. Boyd feeds it up the boards to Bass, and his pass intercepted. Gartner lets it go again. Rudy knocks it down. Ridley put the rebound right into Rudy, and it ends up back of the net. Gartner tries a wrap around that won't go. Can't stuff it in from the short side on the second effort. Rudy covering the puck, and there's no further play. A break in the action. 17 minutes, 22 seconds remaining in the third period. The Caps lead 2-1. to one. Washington Capitals giving Kelly Rudy some anxious moments led by Mike Gardner. Gardner got a couple of pretty good shots away. He went high both times. Kelly Rudy flagged them down. Then he tried a couple of wraparounds before Rudy got a hold of the puck and stopped the play. Puck tied up in the corner to the right of the Islander net. Now Papanka gets it up to Francis. Getting the shot is a glove save by Kelly Rudy. Jensen cutting through in front. A drive by Francis Getty and Rudy with a big glove save. He got the mid out in front of it, made the stop, but before the whistle went, Jensen, one time Hartford Whaler, there's the shot. He scored the tying goal. There's Jensen trying to tap it loose. That's a legal play. The whistle hadn't blown. Kelly Rudy did not have full control of the puck. He was trying to dislodge it. Now flatly. Clearing the puck out of his own zone to Dale Henry. Moves in on Hatcher. Conroy comes up late. Stevens ducks the pass out of the air. Dumps it into center ice. Leiter is back. Leiter off the left wing board. Strache let it go to Dale Henry. Brings it over the line. Henry holding it. Makes the backhand pass. Then Trache was too well covered. Morrow shoots it in. 
Raiders out of the net, leaving it for Stevens. Up the right side to Francis Getty. Trotje slams into him, and the puck goes to Curran. Curran shot it in off Trotje, and we get a whistle for an offside at the Washington Blue Line. Back-to-back -back games this season. The Islanders have a record of eight wins, eight losses, and three ties on the second night of back-to-backs. 500. They're down two to one here at the Capitol Center. Interesting to note that the Washington Capitals, with a total of nine shots through two periods, when you think that Steve Conroy and Richard Crom between them had eight for the Islanders. Kind of crazy the way the numbers look, but the score, that's what it is, two to one in favor of the Washington Capitals. Two unassisted goals, the second period again, playing hard on the Islanders. Ryan Curran moves up the left wing boards and dumps the puck in. Langway chases it. Alan Kerr into forecheck. He, Makala, and LaFontaine, the forwards for the Islanders. Christian has the puck, comes over center ice and shoots it in off Rudy's stick. Duchesne trailing it, gave it to Gould. Curran picks it up back of the net. Takes a hit from Gould as he cleared it into center ice. Caps touched at last. There will be no icing. Langway gets to the puck. Langway is bumped. Duchesne could not pick it up. Bobby Gould goes after it. Then it takes him into the boards heavily. Allenders chase it back into their own zone. Boyd has given it to Kerr. Alan Kerr up the right side. The pass to LaFontaine. Gets in around Langway, then is tripped up. A backhander by Makala dribbled wide. There'll be a penalty here to the Capitals. Only their second penalty of the night. The Islanders going to the power play, trailing 2-1. A break of the action at the Capitol Center. Just over 15 minutes left in the third period. Alan Kerr to Pat LaFontaine, a beautiful pass. LaFontaine, as he comes across, tries to cut in. He's taken out of the play by Rod Langway. LaFontaine runs into Pete Peters. The puck is cleared wide on a shot by Alan Kerr. A penalty to Langway, a power play to the Islanders. Nittick following the draw, gets it to Boyd. It bounces off the boards and out to center ice. And Boyd plays it away from Diddick, and the Islanders have to go all the way back. Kelly Rudy playing the puck to Flatley. Now to Gerald Diddick. Diddick gets across the line. It was knocked off his stick by Stevens, and again, it's shot down the ice. 20 seconds gone, and the penalty to Langway. Randy Boyd. Shane got a piece of him. Boyd plays the puck to Flatley. Now to Trotje. Trotje over the line, pulls up. Plays it across to Flatley. Patrick Flatley with a drive that missed on the glove side. Lighter with it at the right point. His shot was blocked by Gartner, who picks it up and starts out with Duchesne. Gartner into the Islander zone, trying to cut inside, is knocked down. The puck ends up in the Islander zone again, and Flatley will bring it out. Patrick Flatley stick handles into the Washington end of the ice. Plays it around behind the net. Peters leaves it for Stevens, and he'll slap it high. Out into center ice, Conroy has it. A minute to go in this power play. LaFontaine steps over the line, gave the puck to Brian Trotje. Trotje off left wing, centers, and that's tipped away at the side of the net. Flatley unable to center it back to the blue line, and out come the Caps. Kelly Miller with Gould moving up. Miller on left wing, turns. It's some open ice, and then his pass is picked off by Conroy. Conroy falling, Miller with the puck. Kelly Miller can't find anybody as they're in the middle of the player change. Now Dwayne Sutter has it. Sutter starts out with 27 seconds in the power play. Gets it right back from Trotje. Crosses the line with LaFontaine moving in along with Boyd. Randy Boyd cuts in to LaFontaine and he can't get a shot away. Boyd with it back of the net. The Dwayne Sutter is shot off Stevens. Ends up in the corner. Boyd and Stevens bump together and the puck is cleared out to center. Eight seconds remaining in the Islander power play as Curran hustles back. Ryan Curran to Pat LaFontaine to Dwayne Sutter. Can't get over the Washington line. Curran has it. Teams are at six aside again. Kenny Morrill's pass goes to Makala. Nico Makala pulls up at center. Gave it to Brian Curran off his skates. Curran after it along with John Blum. They were teammates a year ago in Boston, by the way. 
Now Christian has cleared it off the linesman, Wayne Bonney. And Langway shoots it wide of Kelly Rudy. This will result in an icing call as Morrow touches up. With 13 minutes and 19 seconds remaining in this period. How can you get a guaranteed seat at a discount price for every Islanders home game? Avoid the long lines to purchase playoff tickets and join in the fun of Islanders hockey live at the Coliseum? Become an Islanders season's ticket holder. For information on obtaining season's tickets for the 1987-88 campaign, call the Islanders season's ticket office at 516-794-4100. Caps leading the Islanders 2-1 to tonight. Washington with 41 points in the second half of the season. That's more than any other Patrick Division team has picked up since the midway point of the year. But the Caps are only 13 wins, 16 losses, and two ties against teams in their own division. They haven't beaten Philadelphia this year. They've got one more game left with them. They have a 2-4-0 and record with the Rangers, one game remaining with them. And they've won five of six games with the Devils, and they'll finish their season with New Jersey. Haworth's shot is grabbed by Rudy. Hittick plays it around to the right side. Moving up with it is Bobby Basson. Basson plays it in around Langway. That's Hatcher turning. Back to the puck. Ari right, Hanpa knocks it away from it. Lauer trying to center. Hanpa unable to get a stick on it. Lachlan here on right wing brings it to center ice. Shoots it in. Rudy waves at it as it went wide of the net. Adams gets checked by Basson. Lachlan plays it out into the center ice zone. Murphy has it. Murphy marks just inside the Islander line, plays it to the corner for Mike Ridley. Quick shot, Rudy got a piece of that, and it ends up in the left wing. Randy Boyd checked by Murphy into Mike Ridley. Ridley tied up, now gets loose from Leiter, centering pass, and drilled wide by Gartner. Stevens off the left point, that's blocked in front. Gartner turns, drops it back to Murphy. Into Gartner, but out of his reach. Trotje takes it behind the net, plays it up right wing. Stevens held it at the blue line. Got it back in on an offside. Stevens is appealing to the linesman, Kevin Shackey. What an opportunity for Mike Gardner. A break in the action. Two to one. Capitals over the Islanders. 12-03 remaining in the third period. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. I didn't know we were. Boy, did he just blow that one oh, by what Gartner? a chance. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Rhett Ridley is a good player. Yeah. You see him keep his balance and still be able to handle a puck. The opportunities in this hockey game do not come along that often, particularly for the Washington Capitals. Ridley makes a great up play, and Gardner blows it by the corner of the net on a great scoring opportunity, wasted. And we had that controversial offside with Scott Stevens involved in the play now underway. Morrow has it back to the net. He and Kerr are on defense. Alan Kerr, Nico Makala, and Pat LaFontaine up front for the Islanders. Washington leading two to one. Jensen and Pavanka with unassisted goals in the second period as LaFontaine comes over center ice. Plays it into the Washington zone off Dave Christian recovers. A little trouble handling the puck, then lost it in the corner. Makala couldn't handle it. Peters hugs it at the side of the goal post. Now the net comes off, and there's no further play, but there is some jostling and pushing and shoving. Allender defense stays high, trying to maintain the face off in the Washington end of the ice. So it means three Allender forwards are outnumbered here. Well, the cooler heads are going to prevail. Pat LaFontaine again. He's in the midst of it, which I'm sure for him, it's good for him in the sense that some players feel that they can, opposition players, can do what they want at will with Pat LaFontaine, and he has to fight back. You've got to show them that it's not that easy a mark, and he's been doing that, and he's been much more effective for it. You see him throwing body checks at a regular pace now. That increases his effectiveness. Islanders making a line change, and so do the Caps. Young man checking out who's coming out on the ice here. Wide-eyed, enjoying this hockey game, as I hope you are. Two to one, the Caps leading the Islanders. It'll be Trotje with Palm and Flatley. I mentioned earlier tonight that Alan Kerr celebrates his 23rd birthday tomorrow. Richard Palm celebrates his 23rd on Sunday. When you think of the Islanders, 
A young hockey team, second, second youngest in the league by average age. That chicken looks like the one that we had for supper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> now the Rangers have won tonight, beating St. Louis six to four. So the Rangers now with 74 points are one behind the Caps. That was the Rangers' 76th game of the season. The Caps are playing their 75th tonight. The Islanders playing their 76th as well. Washington trying to move out of their own end of the ice. Crom broke up the play, but his pass intercepted by Adams to Francis Getty. Poked away by Conroy. Now Howick over the line with a shot off the skates of Conroy. Crom put it into the center ice zone, and here's Hatcher. Back to Langway. Langway comes to the center ice stripe and shoots it in wide of Kelly Rudy. Rich Crom steps in front of Francis Getty and the puck ends up back of the net. And yelling, Lou, Lou. Rache around to Gerald Diddick. And at a half minutes to go in the third period as Diddick comes over center ice. Dumps it in off the catching glove of Peters. Murphy with it. Wayne Sutter gets a piece of him. Diddick takes the man. Sutter takes the puck. Trying to put it out in front. It bounced off Stevens. Recovered by Basson. Back to Boyd. Boyd centers one in front. Wayne Sutter's backhander is grabbed and held by Peters. Close call. Peters getting busy now with Wayne Sutter. And Dale Henry standing on the right on the doorstep. Good play here by Randy Boyd. He kept the puck in. He got it with his hand, put it down, shot it. There it is, deflecting off the defenseman, Larry Murphy. But Peters alertly down, grabbing a hold of it and hanging on. There's the shots on goal. The Islanders have 30 in this hockey game, 14 for the Washington Capitals. Washington have five here in the third period. The Islanders get the draw. Randy Boyd through a screen. It went off Bassett in front of the net. Did it comes in after it. Bumped into his bat, and the puck comes out into center ice. Randy Boyd shoots it back in. Chasing it is Stevens. Basson chases him, turned him around. Stevens, without a stick, just covers the puck. Now it gets loose, and Miller picks it up on a hand pass against Stevens. Well, that's a smart play by Scott Stevens. He went down, he hesitated, and the four checking of Bob Basson. He got in so quickly on him, he had Stevens by surprise. Dr. J is making his final house call at the Meadowlands, and Sports Channel will be covering all the action on Friday, April the 3rd at 7.30 when the Nets tip off against the 76ers. New York Sports Nightly will also be covering the festivities with special features and interviews. Friday, April the 3rd, it's Dr. J Night, only on Sports Channel. Well, March has been the month of comebacks for the Islanders, winning four games in the last minute of play, winning or tying four in the last minute of play. They're down by a goal. We still have nine minutes and 54 seconds remaining here in the third period. Langway squaring on this face-off against Pat LaFontaine. LaFontaine wins the draw, but it got away from Morrill, so the Islanders come out into center ice. Kenny Morrill's pass picked off. Over the line is Duchesne. Duchesne to Christian. Back to Gould instead. Centers one in front, back to Hatcher, and a shot went off to Shane. Christian got the rebound. Rudy has it smothered, and there's no further play. Nine minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the third period. Kern goes off slowly. He got hit once, and I think he got hit the second time on the back of the leg. He was down in front of Kelly Rudy. Bobby Gould against Trache now in the draw. Christian cuts through. A backhander. Rudy kicks that into the corner. Kenny Leiter moves it up the board. The Caps had it momentarily. Trache has fed it to Conroy. Out into center ice to Bacala. Now to LaFontaine. Falling at the Washington line. Duchesne is checked. Conroy gets over the line. LaFontaine is stripped of the puck. It bounces loose. LaFontaine plays it into the corner. Kerr got his glove on it, but the Caps get a stick on it. It's Christian. He is checked at the blue line. Makala for the Islanders. So Alan Kerr, who regroups at center, sends LaFontaine over the line, bumping with Langway. Alan Kerr back to Leiter. And he Leiter through a screen, and it's grabbed, held by Peters, and there's no further play. Just under nine minutes left in the third period. Aggressive forechecking this time again by Pat LaFontaine. He shook Rod Langway away from the puck. Ken Leiter gets a shot on goal. Take a look at Pat LaFontaine as he bears down. 
Here he comes. There's Rod Langway. Quite a difference in size. LaFontaine trying to equalize it. Does a good job. There he is controlling the puck with one hand. Gets it back. Ken Leiter gets the shot away. Fine hustle. Again by Pat LaFontaine. Much improved hockey player. He was playing pretty good and then he all of a sudden seemed to step up into his own. Playing in his option year too. So it's a good time for Pat LaFontaine I suppose contractually to be playing better hockey. Pass and turn got the face off to Dwayne Sutter to Randy Boyd. Boyd played one back in the net. Dale Henry gets bumped. Henry is out with Basson and Dwayne Sutter. Basson bumped and turned by Howard. Henry digs it loose. Can't go anywhere with it. Howard gives it to Lachlan. Lachlan gave it away. Dwayne Sutter to Diddick is shot from the blue line off the goal post for the right of Peter. Dwayne Sutter dumps it back in the net. Henry and Stevens there. Basson comes in after the puck. Bobby Basson gets checked. Stevens plays it up the wing. Diddick falling. Got a piece of it, but the Cats pick it up. Adams and Lachlan two on one with Boyd back. Adams moves in, gets in too deep. Centered one, and Diddick back in time has cleared it up to center. Three on one break for the Washington Capitals. They didn't get a shot on goal. The Islanders got back quick. A hesitation, and it was all over. Now Pavanka's centering attempt is picked off by Curran. Ryan Curran up to Trache at center ice. Ian Prom come over the line, but they can't split the defense. Moving up with it is Pavanka, joined by Francis Getty. Pavanka checked by Trache. The laid offside is called now against the Caps. We have seven minutes and 52 seconds left in the third period. Pretty good hustle by both teams as the game opens up just a shade. I say open up only to the skating element. The checking is still very tight. Good opportunity though. A moment ago as the Washington Capitals with a three on one break. Couldn't get the shot away. Pavanka see him skating better tonight than I've seen him skate against the Islanders in the previous six contests. The other two games in the NHL have been completed. The Devils win again, beating Minnesota 5-2 to two tonight. So the Devils now have 62 points. They've moved ahead of Buffalo and Vancouver in the overall league standings and are only two behind Toronto. The Rangers winning tonight have 74 points now. So the Patrick division at this moment, the Islanders in second place with 76 points. The Caps are third with 75. The Rangers are fourth with 74. The Ranger win. Despite the Devils win tonight as he eliminated New Jersey. Ninth consecutive year the Devils franchise has failed to make the playoffs. Curran with a shot that just went wide. John Blum trying to clear it does. Loose in the Islanders zone. No icing as Rudy plays it for Leiter. Eddie Leiter gets turned around by Ridley's check. Gartner picks it up. Back of the net centered one back to John Blum. Into the corner. Leiter from back of the net, rides right wing, flatly too well covered. Trache picks it up, they move up two on two with Prom. Trache over the line, the pass to Rich Prom, and the backhand shifted, and Peters got just enough to make the save. Gartner clears it into center ice where Leiter knocks it down. Shoots it back into the Washington end. Langway with it. Ian Blum on defense, Ridley, Gartner, and Miller are the forwards. Gerald Diddick. Plays it off. Backless stick at center right. Ice. John Blum has it. Blum flips it in. Goes Diddick. Diddick around the boards to Alan Kerr coming up right way. Kerr ran into Christian. Recovers the puck. Trying to get away from Gould. Gives it to Randy Boyd. Across now to Diddick to Makala. Makala over the Washington line. Is checked there by Murphy. The puck cleared by Duchesne. Coming back quickly is Diddick. Carol Diddick to Randy Boyd. Boyd passed up with Diddick and Gould gets on the play quickly. Boyd pins it on the boards. Got it to LaFontaine. Three caps back in the center ice zone as LaFontaine plays it to left wing for Bacala. Back to LaFontaine. At LaFontaine centers one across. Here's Brian Kern with a shot that's blocked by Stevens. Kenny Morrow knocked down on the play. The puck underneath Duchesne comes loose. LaFontaine trying to move in, but the play has been called. They're ruling a hand pass. Six minutes and two seconds left in the third period. The score remains the Capitals two, the Islanders one.
When the Islanders score first in a hockey game, which they did in this one, they have 23 wins, 10 losses, and five ties. For the Washington Capitals, when the opponent scores first, they've won 15, lost 22, and tied four. Hmm. Caps, remember, had only two shots on goal in the first period tonight. Seven in the second. And yelling and screaming. Taken down on the play was Alan Haworth. And the puck at the side of the Islander net. Greg Adams gets to it. Setters one. Haworth back to Stevens. The big slap shot went wide of the net. Chasing it is Adams. He and Lachlan collide. The puck in the corner. Lachlan picks it up. Feed Stevens. Stevens teed it up and then shot one wide. Murphy comes in off the right point, gets bumped with Basson. Murphy to Adams behind the net, tries a wraparound. It's cut off by Kelly Rudy, and Morrill roughs up Adams behind the net. Ryan Curran plays one loose to Henry, and now play is called. The net is off. Well, they'll readjust that with just over five minutes remaining here in the third period. Mentioned only two other games in the NHL tonight, both of which involved Patrick Division teams. There are seven games on the schedule tomorrow night. Vancouver's at Boston, Pittsburgh at Hartford, Buffalo playing in Montreal, just a couple of the games. Alan Haworth as he tries to spear it away from Dale Henry. Henry gets the stick on him, but the referee, Andy Van Elleman, said, uh uh, that wasn't a good enough one. He dove down. You could see Haworth looking over at the referee as if to say, what else do you want me to do? And Van Helleman is probably thinking, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Of course, what Dale Henry wants to do, and he was successful in doing, was just breaking the stride. Haworth is an excellent skater. He has good speed, excellent acceleration, and he was pulling away. Dale Henry said, hey, come back here a minute. So when he pulled on him, Haworth took a dive, but no penalty. Rache with Flatley and Lauer, the Islander forward line. Flatley tying up Hatcher. Rache puts it out in front. It's in the net. The Islanders have tied it up. Brad Lauer left unprotected to the left of Pete Peters. Beautiful pass. Brian Trache to Brad Lauer, and it's in just that quickly, and it's tied at two apiece. 4.56 remaining here in the third period. Brad Lauer has found an opening. There's the hard check. Ryan Troche picks up the loose puck. There's the pass. Brad Lauer pops it in before Christian could get to him. It's in the net to the left of Pete Peters, and it's a 2-2 tie. Pat Flatley fighting. Brian Troche picks up the loose puck, and Brad Lauer finishes the play. Big goal for the youngster, rookie Brad Lauer, scoring to tie it up at two. I believe Lauer's first shift of this third period. He came out to join Trotche and Flatley, and they make things happen. Now Crom is out on the left side of this line. Buck cleared high in the air at center, then knocked down into the Islander zone by John Blum. Rudy leaves it for Conroy. Conroy to the left side to Crom. Across to Ken Leiter. Leiter makes the pass right to the stick of Crom. Steps over the line. Ed Trache on left wing. Trache centers the drive off the pads of Peters as Kerr came in late. On the right side goes Gartner. Moving in on Boyd with a shot. Rudy got just enough of it. Kelly Miller picks it up over on left wing. Plays it to the corner. Gartner after it. Boyd bumps him there. Richard Crom can't get it out. Stevens with a shot. Picked out by Rudy. Big rebound. And it bounces away from Murphy. Murphy back into center ice. Checked partially by Kerr. Gartner with it. Put it right on the stick of Bacala. Head to LaFontaine. Comes over the line. LaFontaine shoots off the goal post to the left of Peters. Alan Kerr plays it in back of the net. LaFontaine with it now. At LaFontaine to Bacala. Stevens knocks it off his stick. Scott Stevens turned around. Taken down by Kerr. Stevens covering the puck. And there's no further play. A break in the action at the Capitol Center. Three minutes and 39 seconds left in the third period. The score is tied 2-2. <laughs> yeah. Brad Lauer 
Miller ties the score at two apiece with his seventh of the season. And right after that, Pat LaFontaine with a beautiful shot off the goalpost to the left of goaltender Pete Peters. He pulls it in, gets a tremendous shot away, a wrist shot. There it is. One time off the goalpost, off into the corner of the rink. Good shot by Pat LaFontaine. Tough break for the Islanders. Bobby Basson squaring on the faceoff for the Islanders against Alan Haworth. Wayne Sutter and Dale Henry, the other Islander forwards. Curran and Morrow on defense. The Caps have been idle since Tuesday night when they beat the Islanders 3-1 at the Nassau Coliseum. The Islanders beaten at home last night 5-2 by the Vancouver Canucks. Henry giving a shot away after Basson had won the draw. Now it's cleared up the boards off Lachlan. Picked up by Dwayne Sutter and a shot blocked by Langway. Comes away from there, but Langway down on the ice in obvious pain after blocking that shot. He does not go down easy, so it's obvious to tell that he is hurting. Langway, one of the more rugged players in the league, very seldom down to stay. He plays with a lot of pain. He's the kind of a player that has a low pain threshold. Here's the shot by Sutter down he goes he blocked the shot it's hard to tell whether it deflected up around his head or not but now he's on his feet under his own power it could have hit him in the chest bone the chest protector I shouldn't say it's not a chest protector the shoulder pads on the players you can see around his neck area that there is not a lot of protection on the front the miracle man with him that's Stan Wong the trainer of the caps you know what's bothersome too when you're in a lot of pain and you may have the wind knocked out of you and you're just getting it back and people are trying to they're trying to help you. But at that point you don't want anybody touching you just want to be left alone to try and gain your senses gain your wind back and hope that the pain goes away. Three minutes 28 seconds the time remaining in the third period Trotje with Lauer and Flatley for the Islanders Haworth on the draw. Lauer gets it back to the blue line. Lighter with a shot. Blocked in front. Flatley gets a poke at it. Peters has it covered as Lauer came screaming in as well. Three minutes and 23 seconds and pressure by the Islanders. They'd like to get the go-ahead goal. Lauer has scored just a moment ago to tie it at two apiece with his seventh of the season. And they're keeping Pete Peters busy as Rod Langway seems to be all right. Caps out shooting the Islanders nine to eight in this period. I think the shots even at 9-9, if you will. Total for the Islanders, 36 for the Caps, 18. Trache to Lauer, back to Leiter. Leiter through a screen. Peters got enough of it. Flatley goes for it. Patrick Flatley comes out in front. Can't get a shot away. Christian plays it off the boards. And now Haworth picks it up and dumps it down the ice right into the Islander goal mouth. Rudy has given it to Ken Leiter. Pulled away from Adams. Up the right side, and it's relayed. Trache back to Flatley. Flatley over the line with Lauer. Flatley skirts a check. Haworth gets to the puck. Haworth to Greg Adams. Adams having trouble. Now picks it up and shoots it in. Rudy lost it. Lachlan going round behind the net. Chased into the corner by Trache. The centering attempt hits away from the Washington defense. And Langway is back out on the ice with Murphy. Murphy to Rod Langway. Up by Boyd, Langway one hands it in front, and Rudy makes a spectacular save. The save of the game right there. LaFontaine out to center to Alan Kerr. They're calling it back on a two-line pass. A 10-bell save by Kelly Rudy. Rod Langway led the rush. His one-hand pass to the left side. There's Langway. Randy Boyd trying to hold him back. Look at this stop. What a beautifully timed stop by Kelly Rudy. I don't know whether that was Ridley or not that got in there that quickly. Here's Langway again fighting off Randy Boyd. Look at him lean into the skates. Look at the power of Langway as he passes it with one hand. There's the shot. It's not Ridley as Kelly Rudy timed it perfectly. He doubled a one-handed pass to him and a game-saving save by Kelly Rudy. They get dueled to Shane and Christian out of the ice against Pat LaFontaine, Miko Makala, and Alan Kerr. Hatcher for the Caps. I had to duel who dumps it in wide of Rudy. Well, did it. The chain moved in on him, and now Boyd up the right side. Held in at the Allender line. Randy Boyd clears it out. Two minutes remaining in the third period. Christian dumps the puck in. The chain goes after it, plays it around behind the net. Nico Bacala chases it. Bacala up to Alan Kerr, who slaps it to center. 
Stevens waits. Beats Duchesne here on right wing. In front to Christian. He's bumped by Diddick. Back to love. Pass to Alan Kerr. Fontaine waits. Now comes over the line. Kerr's shot deflected wide of the net. Bounce right out in front, and Stevens gets to it. To Christian. Dave Christian over center ice. Shoots it wide of Kelly Rudy. In quickly is Miller, bumping with Dale Henry. Fontaine for the Islanders has given the puck to Brian Curran. Curran's pass into center ice. Henry dumps it into the corner. Peters with it back of the net. Coming in late as Basson runs into Miller. Murphy is there. He's given the puck to Langway. Odd Langway twisting and turning. Tries the opposite side. It comes back to Conroy who shoots one wide of the net. Langway bumped by Basson. Miller feeds it up the wing. Ridley chasing it. Wayne Sutter oh, steps in front of them. Back for the puck is Leiter with a minute to go in the third period. And Leiter to Basson. That's a two-line pass and offside. Stay back and be strong defensively, but from the time he came off the bench, refreshed, he went right to the forefront, took the pass, and led the play. Now Leiter moves the puck to Crom. Back to the left wing boards. Leiter gives it right back to Crom. He steps over the Washington line. The puck bounced off his stick, and then he bounced off Stevens. Out at center ice. Steve Conroy with it. Ryan Trotje pulls it away from Haworth. Gives it to Flatley. Flatley runs into Stevens. They cut one another. In the meantime, Murphy plays the puck to Adams on left wing. Back to Murphy. Murphy can't find any room. Is chased behind the net. Centered one. It comes back to Francis Getty. Francis Getty played it off Murphy's stick and just wide. Get it clears it out of the zone. It bounces off Stevens, who picks it up now. Over to Murphy. Murphy content to shoot it in along the boards, and Richard Crom clears that out of there, and that'll do it. We'll go to overtime at the cap. Bring his seventh to tie it. Both teams had ten shots on goal. That's LaFontaine on the draw against Bobby Gould. LaFontaine plays it back to Leiter. Leiter up to LaFontaine, off his stick. Murphy with it. Murphy banks it off the boards. Conroy plays it across to the far wing, and Duchesne played it into the Islander zone. Now comes out to center, and Christian shoots it back in. Leiter and Conroy on defense. Makala and Kerr on the wings. That's Kerr over on right wing. Pass intercepted. Christian had a knocked off his stick by LaFontaine. Conroy gets to it. Played it up the wing off Bobby Gould. But out comes Alan Kerr. His pass blocked by Duchesne. It's loose. Picked up by Bacala. He and Kerr get over the line. Kerr takes it and escapes a backhander. Skate save. The right skate of Peters making the stop. Randy Boyd waits. Flips it into the Washington zone. Peters drops it off for Stevens. Adam Murphy. Murphy slowly into the center ice zone over Led Gartner. Gartner steps in around Boyd to pick it up. Then lost it in the corner. Richard Crom shoots one off Kelly Miller. Boyd played it into the corner. There's Ridley. Ridley centering attempt. Miller in front turn. Shoots. Can't get it away. Richard Crom with it. Crom up to Flatley. Patrick Flatley starts out with Trotje. Up comes Crom as well. Trotje over the line working on Langway. Skirts the check. It got slowed up just enough that he couldn't recover the puck. It's tied up in the boards. Langway digs it loose. Out he comes. Langway takes a look. Ridley moves up as Langway shoots it in. Trotje goes after it. Ryan Trotje, lead pass off the stick of Dale Henry. It's loose at center ice. Ridley with it. He is checked. Here's Brian Curran. Curran comes to the left side and shoots it in. Chasing it as Bassett. Peters out of the net. Has given the puck to Hatcher. Up to Lachlan. Out of Howard. Haworth over center ice, working on Kern as his drop pass goes to Lachlan. Wayne Sutter rides him into the corner, and Morrow takes over. Eddie Morrow is checked. Haworth backhands one in front. That's blocked by Kern. Cleared it to Basson to the line. Murphy knocked it down. Loose puck, and it comes out to center ice. Lachlan turning. It's over the Islander blue line. Quick shot. Steered aside by Rudy. Wayne Sutter comes off the right wing board. Over to Curran. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in overtime as Curran slapped it off the glass into the Washington zone. Basson in after it. Bobby Basson tied up with Stevens. Now Henry gets it loose. Dale Henry going behind the net. Puts it out in front. Kerr shot one wide. Henry is checked. So is Duchesne. Henry trying to get away from Stevens. Alan Kerr moves it along the boards. Tied up with Gould and Murphy has it for the Caps. It's stripped away from him and Peters diving. Pokes it to the line but not out. 
Back of the net is LaFontaine. Stevens knocks it loose. Duchesne after it. Leiter slams into Duchesne. The puck goes back of the net again. Gould for the Caps. Clears it up the boards. Conroy played it to the corner. Now Gould dumps it to center. Leiter takes it there with less than two minutes to go in OT. It's been mostly nonstop. Conroy plays it into the corner. Peters, by the way, is without a goal stick here. It's on the ice back of the net as the Caps start out. Peters recovers the stick. Christian plays it into the Islanders zone off Gerald Dittick. Rudy out of the net. Thanks one off the boards to McAloy. Goes around the other direction with a pass down to Dittick. Gerald Dittick gets double teamed. Ridley from back of the net can't center it. Christian gets a stick on it. Dittick ties him up and McAloy takes the puck to the corner. Plays it up the wing to LaFontaine. Gets a step on Langway. Now Langway gets back the drop pass to Flatley. Dumps it wide of the net and it's being called back at an offside anyway. Tremendous action end to end. Not that many good scoring opportunities. Both teams very disciplined in their checking. Pat LaFontaine leading a rush. Here he comes up the ice. Watch the move here. Langway cuts over. Knocks him down. There's the puck. It hadn't crossed the blue line. So when Pat Flatley brings it across, it's offside. Not only himself, but Pat LaFontaine, that delayed pass, he sped ahead of it. A minute and 20 seconds remain here in an exciting overtime period, an exciting hockey game. We've seen a little bit of everything. The Islanders led one to nothing at the end of the first period. Back to back unassisted goals in the second period by the Washington Capitals gave them a two to one lead. Brad Lauer's only third period goal, only goal for either team, tied it at two. Trache beats Ridley on the draw, and Curran backhands it high over the glass and into the seats. Only four penalties in the game tonight, two to each team. The Caps did not get a shot. On two power plays, it came back to back in the second period. They were trailing one to nothing at the time, then Jensen stole a pass to tie it. The Bonka. Credited with a goal that was knocked out of the air by Randy Boyd and over the shoulder of Kelly Rudy. That lead goal stood up until 15.04 of the third period when Lauer relayed Trotche's pass out of the corner to tie it at two. And that's where we stand as Trotche shoots the puck into the Washington zone. With Peter. all of the action we've had here in the overtime, still look out here. Good chance for Brian Trotche on a backhand shot. Now McAuliffe shifts in front, got it ducked off his stick. Picked up by Hatcher, lost it, Trotche with it. Trotche's shot, steered aside by Peters. 53 seconds left in overtime as the Islanders swarming in the Washington end of the ice. Trotche chases it back to the net. Langway is checked there by Trotche. They tie it up in the corner, McAuliffe and Ridley as well, and there's no further play. Francis Getty came into the pileup a little late. Draws some attention. There will be a face-off to the left of Pete Peters. Two shots for the Islanders in the overtime. One for the Washington Capitals. Rod Langway gives the puck away. Dangerous pass. There's Brian Trotche all alone. There's his backhand shots. Peters makes the stop as the Washington Capitals finally clear the puck. Rod Langway, dangerous play up the middle. Wasn't controlled. Brian Trotche picks it off. Ridley could not control the pass. Good stop by Peters. Look at how far out of the net he roamed to take the backhand shot away from Brian Trotche. Timeout has been called here. The Islanders taking a 30 second timeout. 42 seconds you see the time down in the lower right hand portion of your screen. Now the Murray brothers Terry and Brian Brian the head coach. Younger brother Terry. Native of Shawville, Quebec, Brian Clarence Murray. Coach at McGill University. In fact, he was the athletic director at the well-respected McGill University in Montreal for some years. See, the McGill Redmen had gone the furthest they've gone in the playoffs, Canadian collegiate hockey, since 1947. Hmm. Have not had a powerhouse hockey team at McGill. <laughs> Some speculation at McGill that they'll have a Westfall in their lineup well, in the future. Huh? There is some talk about it, yes. My brother's son, Brent, my nephew, been touted in the junior uh, junior B hockey and scouted by some of the schools in Canada and the United States. The beat goes on. <laughs> the Islanders sending out LaFontaine, Trache, and McAuliffe. 
Conroyd and Boyd together on defense. Boyd on the right, Conroyd on the left. Dave Christian will take the face off for Washington. Duchesne and Gould are the other forwards. Murphy and Stevens, the Caps defense pair. All set now as Christian moves in. Fontaine has to drop the stick first. Stevens is edging up a little bit. The linesman squared, and LaFontaine played the puck wide of the net. Trache out to LaFontaine. Peters robs him, and it bounces into the corner. At LaFontaine, centering one high to the far side. Trache after it. Duchesne picks it up and shoots it into center ice. The Islanders have the Washington Capitals just trying to get the puck out into the center ice area. That's the position they want to be in. They want to have the opportunities. Keep the puck in Washington's end of the ice. Try and create a mistake. Get a scoring opportunity as they just had Pat LaFontaine in close, robbed by Pete Peters. Now LaFontaine at center ice is checked. Randy Boyd's pass is broken up. Kelly Miller can't get to it as Conroy knocked it away. Two seconds, one. This game ends in a 2-2 tie, and the Islanders retain sole possession of second place in the Patrick Division. The Islanders gaining their 11th tie on the season tonight.